Sorry about that. Just catching up on some reading. Hello, it's me, your friendly neighborhood scarecrow. We're going to be reviewing music, video games, and even film. But today, we are reviewing music. We're actually going to be reviewing uh, music all the way in East Lake, Ohio, called Gamorizer. Uh, a two piece with frontman, vocalist, and drummer, Ammo, and Zilla on the bass. They're a band that started from 2010 going on to now, the present. Uh, I mean, they went on and off for, from projects Ammo did. Zilla had a, you know, had a little experience, but mostly she stuck with most of Ammo's projects. Um, which would be your Extreme Noise Terrier, Survivors, and Dragada. Not meaning that she was in all of them, but she was present for those previous ones. Uh, Survivors, ENT, which was, I believe, if anything, probably a way for them to get even into their own kind of sound. Especially as Grindcore, that you know, kind of punk rock mentality where it's thrash. Definitely things there. Um, another thing, I, I suppose they had, they had, they did have a guitarist at one point in time. Uh, we're just going to refer to him as Welding Mask. And uh, I guess he didn't stay very long. He said something about uh, not quitting the band. He'd like never quit the band. And he just, one day up and quit, so there's that. Um, and that that was actually the mo the one album that they've had, uh, which is a uh, um, I don't know you can whoever put the image there. I, I really hope that they do put the image there of pseudo god induced selfagia. I I don't know if I got that right, but uh, definitely. That that album in two does showcase these these grindcore um, you know influences and inspirations definitely uh, uh, what is it uh, cattle decapitation even so their earlier stuff um, there's definitely a lot of kind of thrash influence there like Megadeth you can hear it in the guitar um, as vocals vocal wise. You can definitely hear uh, cattle decap uh, in there. You can hear, you know, some real low ones like, you know, uh, like a Fisher Cannibal Corpse. Um, also, what I was about to say, um, very much uh, inspiration. So, with like even like the littlest minor of t guitar twinkles from, you know, Alice in Chains or. Uh, Chris Cornell, which is actually a very, you wouldn't think, but it's it's definitely there. You have to listen for it. And uh, <clears throat> as for the guitars leaving, we, 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 this is totally going to be relevant. Phil Collins. Uh, so I, I believe Ammo had a lot of e experience in dealing with sound because he did all the sound work for Survivors. He did all the drum tracks, recorded them, and put them through an iPad. So I'm thinking he basically did the same diff, but with any performances he has now, and or with recording wise, he just does all the guitar. Which this is some, this is definitely some thrashy, grindy, Phil Collins levels of sound engineering. Alright, let's see, one more thing to, I'm forgetting, forgetting what, uh, I mean this is my first review so you have to bear with me, uh, oh, their demo, their demo, definitely, their demo, Emma, M M X X Knee Deep in Poutine, Poutine? Poutine? 
I mean, you can tell, you know, if I got that wrong, I got that wrong. I'm only human. And maybe that will be in the corner as well, hopefully, so I don't look stupid. But uh, it, it definitely, uh, the demo is actually released right before the, the spread of, you know, COVID, coronavirus, uh, and also, uh, rest in peace, their Canadian tour. Uh, it would have it would have killed definitely da up in Canada. Uh, it, it still definitely has all those, uh, especially on the demo, it has those grindcore tropes, but this is amplified. This isn't just like before in the album, I think, that they actually kept on going and polishing. Now you can definitely hear the cattle decap. You can definitely hear the mega death. You can definitely hear some like really kind of like gory, like cannibal corpse kind of feel. And also subject matter, even from album to uh, demo, it still kind of stayed the same, but it got a little more serious and more less of an area of of satire, and more, I believe, into dark humor. Even dealing with uh, any exp pre previous experiences that the the band, the duo, might have had. Uh, a, a big song. I'd, I'd I'd encourage you to if you wanted to just sum up the band as a whole, or some of the even demo as a whole, um, I would say to go and listen to, oh my goodness. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it into the corner here, cause I'm hoping whoever's editing this puts it there in a little black block so people can see it. I, I have it written down, you know, <laughs> but I just want to make sure I'm not disassembling and destroying it as much as possible. But morti mortiferous auger dissemination apparatus. I think I got that right. But that's a song that definitely sums up like the entirety of that demo. I think it even sums up uh, partially how far they've come in like evolutions of like recording and playing and getting through their roots and inspirations especially as a grind especially as in thrash and death uh, metal uh, I would say the punk rockers would love the demo I'd say the metalheads would love the demo uh, purists I, I don't think you'd have too much problem actually because they would actually you know they'd love the thrashy tones uh, even pure metal heads would still love, you know, the metal sound and, you know, uh, grindcore people, a lot of militant grindcore people, they'd be into that because it would remind them of, you know, cattle decap. But also, I mean, it's a great, it, they had a great album. Their demo was awesome. Uh, go and check it out. You can catch it up on tons of places, iTunes, uh, you catch them on Facebook, you'll find it there, also look them up on Google Drive, it's all public, it's all public as it should be, um, and when everything arises, and you see them on a flyer, you see Gamora Riser on a flyer, go and check them out, two nice dudes and do debt, if you like, if you want to, if you want to hear something that's like, uh, Dave Mustaine, uh, the dude, the singer from Cattle Decap, Campbell Corpse, uh, Chris Cornell, and Phil Collins got a big orgy, and they had a love child, but it was consented. That's what you'd get with Gamorrizer. Well. That's the review for today, and uh, stay safe out there, and uh, please, please, go go and support Gamorrizer, find them on Facebook, find them on Google Docs, 
I don't care what you do. Support your local bands, and especially if you live in Ohio, PA, or in every any other state. Peace, my grease.